Oh, hello and hello. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. And and the reason why I'm excited is because God has been good. He's been good to me. He's been good to my family. He's done. He's done blessed me. He's done protected me from dangers, seen and unseen. And for that reason, I'm excited. I'm excited because I know that at every turn. I'm excited at every every situation that I find myself in, God is going to fix it. It doesn't matter what it is, God is going to fix it and he's going to work it out for my good. Now, I do understand. I'm going to go through some trials and I'm going to go through some tribulations. But at the end of that tribulation, at the end of that test, I know, I know that God is going to give me the victory. And so for that reason, my brothers and my sisters, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm delighted because I've been invited. And so, and so I love God. And see, he's a keeper. And so I know that down in the city of my soul. And so whatever you are going through and whatever you're facing, trust him. Because he can bring you out of it. He can bring, he can bring, give you the answer. And see, see the thing about it, because you go through trouble. And because you go through hard times, that don't mean that you're cursed. That even when doors are slammed in your face, that doesn't mean that you're out of his will. And so the scripture says, after you suffer a while, see, there has to come a process of suffering. There has to come a process of being uncomfortable. <clears throat> see, because that's how God's glory comes forth when you're uncomfortable. Because when you're uncomfortable, something in you, your spirit, Something in your body, in your flesh is going to die. It's going to kill away. And when it kills away, when it falls away, then you're going to become light. See, Jesus said that if any man come after me, he must first deny his flesh. You got to deny your flesh, then take up your cross and follow him. And so in order to follow him, you got to give up something. In order to get power, in order to get in his face. In order to get his choices and blessings, you got to give up something. You got to sacrifice something. You got to sacrifice something. No pain, no gain. You need to know that if you ain't going through no pain, there is no gain. Now, now I ain't saying have pain forever because there is an expiration date for our pain. Because the scripture said that there's going to come a time that he's going to wipe, wipe away all of our tears. And also the suffering and the pain. It's going to go away and there's going to come a reward. But he said in his word, we got to remain faithful. You got to remain faithful in due season. And so, and so, so many of you, the dew is falling. The rain is falling. Get thee up for there's abundance of rain. There's an abundance that's coming to you. There's abundance that's coming to your house. There's abundance that's knocking on your door. There's abundance that's coming to your bank account. So get ready. And so this is why. This is why I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Is that all right? In the mighty name of Jesus.